Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these wooden planters, waterproof them, paint them, antique them, and put the words on them. And then we're going to put a clear coat over them. They're pretty simple to make. If you like the planters, but you don't want to make one yourself, and you'd like a chance to win one of these, stay tuned to the end of the video, and there'll be three different chances to win one. The details are at the end. Thanks for watching. I'm using some of this leftover poor man's cherry flooring that I did my house with when we built it. You can use any leftover wood you have. I ripped mine down to three and a half inches wide. If you need to go to the store, you can go buy some. The four inch wide boards will work perfect for what you need. I'm using a DeWalt miter saw. If you don't have an electric one, you can buy a hand saw with one of the miter boxes. I'm going to cut 45s on each end. So once you have your first 45 degree angle cut, we're going to mark 16. Use our square for a nice line. Once you have your two 16s, we're going to do our, cut our two 5 inch long pieces now for the ends. So one little trick to do at this point is just to roughly assemble it before you cut your floor. So once you just have it sitting together nice, we're just going to go ahead and measure the inside dimensions. We have 14 and a half by 3 and a half. So if this measurement, inside measurement, doesn't equal this measurement, now is the time that you can adjust your end pieces if it's. Now once I have it cut, I'm just going to lay it down and dry fit everything before I put it all together. Let's dry fit together. It should look like that. If your lines don't all line up, this is when you need to make your adjustments, either cutting off a little bit of your five inch long pieces or cutting another piece and making it a little bit wide, longer. Will it all dry fit together? We're going to grab our glue and our nails. So I'm using a brad nailer with one inch long brads and glue. If you want, you can use a screw gun and screws. I'm just going to make sure I always nail it from the 5 inch wide side so that way when you're looking at it from this angle or this angle you don't see nails. You're only going to see nails, nail holes or screws, whatever you use from this side. Just apply some glue to the ends. You're going to nail together at this time. You just want to make sure your ends are all flushed up. So now once you have your box assembled, you're going to take your floor, put glue on all four sides, get it in place, then you're going to nail it in place also. Once you have it in place, flip it over. Now we're just going to go ahead and run some nails along the bottom. So now after you glued it, screwed it, or nailed it together, let it dry, and then once it's dry, I go ahead and I sand the tops and the corners and all the sides down quickly with a piece of 220 sandpaper. So now at this point, I'm just going to use some indoor-outdoor sealant. I'm just using brown because this is what I had. You just want to make sure it's a good indoor outdoor so it'll be watertight for the planter. Just going to run a bead in the corners. That's what it should look like. So now, when you're masking off, you just want to make sure you cover the whole lip all the way around. If 
just push the tape down on the top edge, leave the overhang just lying like this for now. Just take your newspaper, stick it to the back side of the tape. Then you're gonna need some of this Flex Seal. I have clear, because that's what I had in the house. If you have black, any color, it doesn't matter. The reason why I use the Flex Seal and caulk all the edges is it makes it watertight and you don't have to worry about having another liner in the planter, which is nice. Now I'm just using a matte finish paint to paint the planter with. I'm just gonna give it one good coat. Now you wanna make sure you got all your drips and runs wiped off. You wanna make sure it's got a good even coat. You don't wanna worry about brush marks or being too perfect. We're gonna sand it down anyways. So once this paint dries, I'll come back and we'll do the next step. All right guys, once the paint's completely dry, we're gonna take a piece of 220 sandpaper and sand the whole thing down a little bit. I'll sand it and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, when you're all said and done, the box should look like this. So to make the word, I went on my computer and picked a font and a size I liked, typed up the word I wanted, printed it off, then I used a paper cutter to make sure I had a straight line to go by. I taped the word to the planter box and then I went over it and traced it with a ballpoint pen and if you need to you can trace it a couple of times if you don't get a deep enough impression. So once you're all said and done you should have a good impression of the word on top of the wood. So when you're happy with the impression that you made that you can see it clearly you take a fine point sharpie and go around and trace it. Once you have the outline, grab a regular Sharpie and color it in. Then once you've gone over it and you've got it all colored in the way you want it, you take another piece of 220 sandpaper and sand that back down and get it faded. All right, so once you have your word on there, the way you like it, sand it down, fade it out as much as you want. Dock as you want, you can leave it black if you want. I'm using some Valve Spa Signature Clear Protection. I'm just putting a clear protector over all of it to seal it up nice. I'm going to do two coats. I definitely recommend using a foam brush. So do one coat, let it dry, go back and do a second one. One thing you should do first is wipe it down with a damp rag and let it dry to make sure you get all the dust off. Once you know you got a good first coat on it, just go around, see if you got any drips or lines and wipe them down and even them out. Let it dry and go back and give it a second one. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to have a chance to win one of the planters, what you need to do is leave a comment down below. And when the video hits 1,000 views, I'm going to raffle off the first planter. When the video hits 10,000 views, I'm going to raffle off the second planter. And when the video hits 50,000 views, I will raffle off the third and final planter. And when I pick a winner, I'm going to contact them and find out what word they'd like me to write on the planter for them. And then I'll ship it 
ship it to them. So give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, share it, and the more you share it, the more views we'll get, so the sooner you'll have a chance to win. Thanks again. Subscribe for future videos. Now we can take the extra slack out.